Most people would say we can't see air, but what if we can? You can see air if there's enough of it. You see something when light bounces off of it or is transformed in passing through it. Air does affect light, but not much, so it seems invisible. But when you put a few miles of air together, it gives a lovely blue color. Okay, now you know that you can see air. But why is the sky blue? To answer this, let's start from the sun. The sun sends a beam of light which carries about every wavelength from X-rays to radio waves on its eight-minute trip to Earth. The Earth's atmosphere will trim this beam into a narrow range of wavelengths, and that light appears white, a mixture of all the wavelengths from violet to red. When this sunlight hits an apple, the apple absorbs light with all the wavelengths except red, and this red light is reflected back which makes the apple look red. But why is the sky blue? All the atmosphere is made up of a lot of different gases, like oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc., but it's also got dust and dirt. Now, a physicist named John Strutt figured out that light gets scattered as it travels through the atmosphere. And how much it scatters depends on 1 over the fourth power of wavelength. Red light has a longer wavelength, so it scatters less and just washes over the molecules present in the atmosphere. But blue light has a shorter wavelength, so it scatters more and interacts with the molecules present in the atmosphere. But wait a minute. Violet light has an even shorter wavelength than blue. So why isn't the sky violet? This is because the sun itself sends out less of violet and more of blue. Check out this solar radiation spectrum. As you can see, the amount of energy is peak in the blue wavelength and drops dramatically for violet wavelengths. Also, our eyes have millions of cones for detecting light. These cones are divided into three types, red, green, and blue. Here's a graph which shows the sensitivity of these cones. The blue curve is most sensitive at blue wavelengths and drops off dramatically for the lower wavelength violet light. Okay, so why is the sun yellow? That's a misconception. The sun isn't yellow or orange, but it's actually white, a mixture of all wavelengths of light. So why are the solar images sometimes green or blue or red or orange? It's hard for many people, even scientists, to admit that the sun is not yellow or orange, but actually white. So sometimes they color pictures of the sun taken in visible or white light to look more like something we would expect. Okay, so we know that the sky is blue and the sun is white. But why is the sun and the sky reddish orange during sunset? Well, at sunset, the sun is a lot lower in the sky, and the sunlight has to travel through a lot more atmosphere to reach your eye which means blue light has a lot more time to scatter all around. And what remains is the red light, which reaches our eye. Okay, but why are clouds white? Cloud droplets are large enough to scatter all visible wavelengths more or less equally. This is called my scattering. This means that almost all of the light which enters clouds will be scattered. Because all wavelengths are scattered equally, clouds appear to be white. When clouds become very deep and thick, less and less of the incoming solar radiation makes it through the bottom of the cloud, which gives these clouds a darker appearance. That's it for this video, but hey, hold on. Do you know why oceans appear blue? To get this answer, you'll have to go underwater with untamed science. Most people believe that oceans are blue because the sky is blue, but that's a myth. Due to the harmonic vibration of the oxygen-hydrogen bonds in water, it happens to absorb long wavelengths of light, red, orange, yellow, much better than it does shorter wavelengths, like blue light. This tendency toward a light greenish-blue color is weak enough that you don't see it in a glass or bathtub full of water, but it becomes noticeable as light passes through thicker samples of water, as in a lake or ocean. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, subscribe. Also, if you have a topic or question for the next video, please leave it in the comments below.